it mean periodic? Well, it means for a given time period, okay, in this case, time is like our x value, do the y values repeat, okay? So just because there's a pattern doesn't mean that it's a periodic pattern, meaning that it's cycling through and repeating that same uh, y value for a multiple of the x value. So in this case, it is periodic, so we're gonna say yes for this one. What is the period? Well, that's saying how long does it take? You know, what's the time for, period for it to repeat and start over? Well, you can see this is going uh, every two, it's going up and then down. Okay, our next two, up and then down. So we can see the period is two. It's repeating every two, okay, every time the x increases by two. Now, the next few questions relate to the output for a given input. So when x is two, what's the y value? What's the output? Well, you can see when x is two, the y value is zero. When x is 23, what's the output? Well, we don't want to necessarily draw this graph all the way out to 23, but if we realize that you know, it repeats every two, let's see how many times does two go into 23. Well, it's 11 times remainder one. So it's like going up and down, up and down 11 times, and then on that 23rd one, ah, you're going right one, and you can see the out val output value is one. Now the last one, f of negative 23, we're going to the left, to the negative direction, 23 units. Again, same pattern, up and down, up and down, repeating every two, right? Again, two goes into 23 11 times, so on that 23rd step to the left, the graph's gonna be going up here and the y value is gonna be one. So you're with me so far on that first example, so we're trying to figure out, is it periodic? And uh, what is the period? And then what's that y value? Or what's that output for a given x value? So example number two now, you can see this stair-like pattern, this step-like uh, graph, okay? And the question is, is it periodic? Well, some students might say yes, but the thing is, is that even though there's a pattern, you know, you can see that every time you go one to the right, it's stepping up one, that pattern does not repeat. Meaning like, if I go up to, let's see, one, two, three, four, does it start over again and then step up one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, is it repeating? No, it's not. So this one is actually not periodic. We'll just put no for that one. And the period is just you know not applicable, we'll write NA. But we can still calculate what these function values are. So when X is three, okay, one, two, three, we go up to the graph, what's the Y value? You can see the Y value is three. What's uh, F of two? Well, you can see it's two. What's F of one? It's one. So what do you think F of 63 would be? Well, it's gonna be 63. So this one was not periodic, but we can still calculate what those values are um, by noticing the pattern. It's just not a repeating pattern, so it's not periodic. So we're gonna go through one more example, but before I do that, I just wanna mention that if you're preparing for the ACT or the SAT, check out my huge ACT math review video course and my huge SAT math review video course. We go through a number of different topics that are covered on those important tests, formulas, example problems, things that you would expect to see so that you're prepared when you go into those tests. So if you like my teaching style, check out some of the previews that are uh, available for you to check out, see if that's a, a right fit for you, and uh, go ahead and get those courses. But let's get into example number three. This one, what do you think? Is it periodic? Does that pattern repeat? Well, let's take a look. So if we're starting here, it goes you know, like a plateau, and then it kind of goes down, and then it plateaus, and then it goes up, and then it plateaus, and it looks like, yes, this pattern is repeating, okay? So what that means is that, you know, every so many units to the right, that pattern starts over again and then repeats. So this one is periodic, so we're gonna say yes for that. Now the question is, what is the period? Well, let's see, so if we start here, we're going to the right, down, to the right, up, ah, so from here to here, you can see that's one cycle and then it starts over again. So how many units is that? It's one, two, three, four, five. So you can see that our period is gonna be five. Okay, just verify that that repeats, um, but it looks like it's five units. So now this one, F of one. So when we go X equals one, one to the right, we go up to the graph, you can see the Y value is two. F of 24, hmm, well we know it repeats every five, so let's see, how many times does five go into 24? Well, we know four times, right? remainder four. So that means that we're gonna be repeating the cycle five times, all right? And then one, two, three, four, you can see the Y value is zero. And then the last one, F of negative 20, that means we're going to the left 20, right? So let me switch sides here. So to the left 20, that means we're going one, two, three, four, five. And then you can see we're gonna be up here 
at 2. And then the same thing, it's going to go 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We're going to be up here at 2 again. So we're going to repeat that cycle four times, then remainder four. So let's look at that remainder four. One, two, three, four. Ah, you can see we're going to be right there at y equals 2. So that's the result, f of negative 20. So I hope this helped you to understand how to work with whether or not functions are periodic, how to find the period, and how to find some of the output values when you're given an input value. Subscribe to the channel, check out more math tutoring videos on my YouTube channel, Mario's Math Tutoring, and I look forward to helping you in the future videos. I'll talk to you soon.